Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can create a responsive slider in a WordPress website. And I'm going to use the Slider Revolution plugin. This is one of the best slider plugins for a WordPress website. It has more than 250 templates that you can use to create any kind of slider. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you how you can install the Slider Revolution plugin and how to use this plugin. In another video, I have shown you how you can import the 250 plus templates and create professional sliders in a WordPress website. If you want to watch those videos, I'll give you the link in the description box. In this video, we are going to work on the responsive settings of the Slider Revolution plugin. If you do not have this plugin and if you want to buy this plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. The pricing of this plugin is around 2,982 rupees, which is approximately 35 to 40 dollars in US dollars. And that is for the one website in which you will get the plugin. You will also get access to 250 plus templates and 25 different add-ons, object library, instant updates, and ticket support. If you want to install this plugin on three different websites, that will cost you 7,500, which is approximately around 90 to 95 US dollars. So as I said earlier, this is one of the best slider plugin. You can create any kind of slider. You can create image slider, layer slider, text slider, as well as video slider and WooCommerce product slider. In the upcoming videos, I'll work on different features of the Slider Revolution plugin also. So if you want more video tutorials on Slider Revolution, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. So let's see what are the responsive settings of the Slider Revolution plugin. Here I'm on the Slider Revolution. Let me go back to plugins and I'm on the dashboard of the WordPress website. In the left hand panel, you will see Slider Revolution. Click on it. And I'm on the dashboard of the slider revolution. I already have one slider here. So I'm going to use this one. So click on the edit option for this slider. And let's go through the slider settings. So this is the template of the slider. And if you want to see how does this look, you can simply click on preview and it will show you the preview of the current slider. This is how it will look on the desktop. You will see laptop option here. This is how it will look on the laptop. And this is for the tablet and this is for the mobile device. All right, so let's close it. Let's check the settings at the top. You will see the option here settings and under settings, you will see the option layout. So we are going to change the layout of the slider under layout. You will see scene slider carousal. Currently, we are using one of the templates, which is only a single slider. It's not a multiple layer slider. You will see under slides. We have only one slide. So if you have multiple slides, you can customize multiple slides one by one. So we have only one slide here. Sizing is currently set to full width. If you want to change the size, you can change it. Currently it is showing the desktop view. You will see it here. In many cases, you will see the notebook or the tablet view is disabled. You need to turn it on so that it will be shown on the tablet as well as the laptop. Below that, you will see layer area size. For the desktop, it is set to 1200 by 1000 pixel. You will see it here. Let me change the size. All right, if you want to change the size for the desktop, you can change it from here. Let's say I want to change it to 1200 by 900 and you will see the size of the slider will change. Below that, we have the size for the laptop. It is set to 1024 to 768. And uh, below that, we have size for the tablet. 778 960 and for the mobile device we have 480 to 600 so i'm going to change it to let's say 500 so this is the basic size if you want to check how does this look you can simply go here and select notebook you will see some margin here this is how it will look on the notebook and let's go to tablet this is how it will look on the tablet we will change the settings later let's go to mobile and this is how it will look on the mobile device all right, let's go back to desktop view. Okay, below that we have advanced settings. So we will not go through this. We are looking for only the responsive settings. All right, now let me save these settings. Let's copy the short code of this slider and we will install it one of the pages. I have one sample page here. Let's go back to the WordPress overview of the slider revolution and we are going to copy the short code. You will see the embed code here. So I'm going to copy the embed code. Close it. Let's go back to the sample page and we are going to add the 
embed code here so i'm going to look for the html code and in that code i'm going to enter the code let's update it let's view the page and this is how the slider will look you will see it here let's go to edit slider change the view to notebook so we are going to customize it for the laptop let's change the position this one does not look good here all right so we have changed the position of the about text let's change the position of this one and let's change the position of the content here let's move it up so that this text will go above this yellow line all right so this one looks good so we have changed the settings for the laptop all right let's click on save and let's go to preview currently it is set to desktop change it to laptop mode and you will see the settings have been changed for the laptop or the notebook device all right now let's go to tablet and this is how it looks on the tablet we are going to change this one also let's close it and from here select tablet okay now let's see we have it here for the tablet uh, we are going to change the position of this one here let's make it here all right and with that we have this image right if you want to change the position you can simply change the position of this image and uh, let's change the position of the text here if i scroll down you will see it here let's change the position here i just want to show you how you can change the position for different devices click on save go to preview and this is how it will look on the tablet right now it does not show the image and the yellow line we will check it on the actual website let's go back to sample page refresh it i'm going to resize it so that it will be like a tablet and you will see the image is there let me scroll it down so this is how it will look on the tablet so on the actual device it will look like this and let's go back here when we try to preview the slider for the tablet it's not showing the image however on the actual slider on the page itself it shows the image and the yellow line here okay now let's go back and close this one change it to mobile device and customize it for the mobile device right so for the mobile it already looks good we have it here I'm going to change the position here and let's move it up and let's move it down all right let's see I'm going to change it here like this and let's move it up let's go to preview okay this is the current layout for the mobile device all right let's close it it's not working properly okay now let me save it all right so i have it saved now let's go back to the sample page let's refresh it and let's resize the window here currently it is like a tablet i'm going to resize it so that it will be like a mobile device now you will see the image is there so these are the basic settings for the responsive slider in slider revolution plugin you can simply go to layout from here you can change the size for the different devices and from here you can select different views change it to desktop notebook tablet or mobile device and from here you can customize the layout you can simply drag and drop wherever you want the layer to be and for each and every device you can customize the layout of the slider revolution so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.